Hey guys, SGT Nickel here again. Just one last thing, sort of wanted to go on about the uh, RCMP. And I just came upon realizing this just now. Um, I was going through the RCMP news news uh, website there on Facebook. And I, um, I'm a firefighter, first of all, so just this is sort of what why it drew my attention. But um, I noticed that they had this this uh, little blurb about this hockey hockey game that the RCMP were playing against some some uh, firefighters, and the way they stated it was guns against hoses. Well, the way I see it is the RCMP and the police they used to see themselves as the shield, and now they're calling themselves the guns. That sort of shows a little mentality of sort of what's going on of how they see themselves. Uh, before the shield was protection, it was to protect. Well, the way I see it, guns means attack. So what's going on here? You've got guns instead of shield. They used to be shield. It would be shield against hoses. That's normally how they would have said it way back, maybe in the 80s, 90s. And then something's gone on to now where they're called guns. I know it's just words, and it's but that just shows sort of the mentality of, of these cops. They see themselves as guns, not as a shield. And in my opinion, that's ass-backwards mentality for a cop. Um, you wonder why there's so many cop shootings all of a sudden, why the cops are being so aggressive. Uh, I think they've gotten extremely lazy. They're using force before words. Um, I've seen too many video links of, you know, just people, I'm sure they're being smart, Alec, but it doesn't, it doesn't call for being punched in the face by Vancouver police or RCMP or any other police member. Come on, you know, use words, people police you need to use your words you don't just go straight to force because someone didn't put his hands behind his back on the first reply okay that is unacceptable that's excessive force it's not reasonable force if the guy's not running if the guy's not trying to punch you that's bullshit like i saw one video of a vancouver cop i'm not telling you the guy was innocent um that's not the point here uh the guy was in my opinion he, the way i could see it he was not put resisting Okay, he's standing there and the cop grabs his arm in a weird way where, yeah, I would do the same. I'd pull my arm away if you're trying to break it. Absolutely, are you fucking stupid? Am I going to sit here and let anyone, anyone break my arm? That's ridiculous. So yeah, he's going to pull away naturally because that's a natural instinct and all of a sudden he gets punched in the face. Just got, oh yeah, and he was talking. The guy was saying, what are you doing? What are you doing? The cop didn't explain. He didn't ask him, can you put your hands behind my back like you should? Now, every time I've been confronted by the cops, I've, in fact, I've, I've been lucky. I've come across usually pretty good cops. Um, they've been, I've never been, the only people who have had a real problem with them actually are Vancouver police. I've one, uh, twice been in, inappropriately um, grabbed by them and uh, also illegally searched and also illegally confiscated um, by Vancouver police too many times. Uh, three, that's too many. One, one is too many times. Okay, these people are supposed to protect us. And I don't feel safe around cops. I, I fear them, and I'm a law-abiding citizen. This is ridiculous. I and I shouldn't fear the cops. And I don't fear them. I hate them. Uh, it's not fear. It's absolute loss of respect and despise because they're nothing but bullies. It seems. Um, now I know there are good cops. Okay, I've I've known some, and these aren't the people I'm talking about. I'm talking about though what seems like the majority though. Um, it's just is crazy. Uh, we need to bring back that shield mentality, get rid of the gun mentality. Um, we really need to get the gangsters out of the cops. We need to clean house is what we need to do. And yeah, I'm all for provincial policing, like I said um, in a previous video. It's just, um, I've had it up to here with this bullshit, what they think they can get away with. And it's all politics. Politics have failed us. Um, they have seriously failed us. Um, all our politicians, they are working for companies, the police are working for the companies, and they're not for the people. When, and, uh, I mean, uh, I, as a kid, said that, well, we need a government that's for the people of the people and not for the corporations and against the people. Um, when you have any form that takes corporate interest over human interest, you've got yourself basically a, uh, a very corrupt system. And, uh, well, it's, I've had it up to here with it. I'm done with it. It's just, it's insane. 
it's absolutely insane.